Well, luckily, I do actually have some pictures, so we'll see them later. This is not a technical talk, but in some ways it is. It's about maintaining the hardware that sits underneath the brains that actually do your programming. So, let's think about the body for a second. It's a piece of legacy hardware. It's not automatable. It's been around for thousands of years and not much has changed. So it needs a little bit of love and attention to keep it functioning smoothly. Why would you want to do that? To give you a body that lets you do what you want to do, that doesn't get in your way but is there to help you. When you want to do something, it does it for you. And if you don't make time to look after your body now, you'll have to make time to be sick later. So a few years ago, I'd been living in America. I was overweight, getting no exercise, not doing anything. My wife finally convinced me to join up with the gym. I lost 20 kilos in one year with just a few simple diet changes, cutting out cheese mostly, um, getting along to gym classes and riding my bike. Yay! I was riding to work an hour and 15 minutes each way and it's amazing what it did. I've got a couple of pictures for you of the change. And of course, being who I am, I went overboard. I now teach weightlifting classes at gym because, you know, if you're going to do it, why not get paid? to show up. So that's my hobby. The, yeah. <laughs> this is the scientific bit. The research says you need to do about four hours a week of lifting your heart rate to keep your body nice and fit. And if you put some weight training in there, then that helps too because muscle mass builds up. So these are just little things. It's not that much four hours out of your week. If you take that time away from your hacking, it will actually give you a better brain and a better body to get on with stuff. So, awesome, find something you enjoy. That's really important. It's really important that it's something you enjoy doing because otherwise you won't do it. The motivation to keep coming back and doing exercise is because you enjoy it, right? Last year at Yapsi, I was training for the half marathon in Oslo. I'm not a runner. I hadn't done it. I, took, I ran Sunday when I arrived. I ran Tuesday morning early before the conference and Thursday morning I went for an eight kilometer run. During that time, I turned around from having pain in my knees and thinking I can't do this to actually my body kind of adjusted and it was okay. At the end of that run, that third day run, I met up with a bunch of Pearl people because I decided I'll spend the day in Riga. And they said, let's go to the beach. So we hired bikes and we rode 50 kilometers to the beach. Here's a photo of the early morning running over the bridges, beautiful, riding bikes along all the way out to the beach, where it was a lovely day, the sun was shining, we sat around <laughs> drinking nice drinks and had a fantastic time. I could only do that because my body was there to support me, so that's why we need to think about maintaining the hardware as well. And of course, you have to reward yourself. <laughs> it's so cheap in Latvia. My next challenge is to get enough sleep. This one's a hard one for all of us. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>